Hi everyone, Kevin Eikhoff here with Kevin Eikhoff Ministries. Today, I'm going to focus on a technique known as EFT, Emotional Freedom Technique, or tapping. Some people call it tapping. And the reason it's called tapping is because you're tapping on specific meridian points in the body to try to alleviate pain, anxiety, stress, uh, emotional discomfort, or anything related to that. I suppose there's weight loss programs and everything else connected to using EFT. But today I'm going to really show you where those meridian points are. And one of the major ones is right here on a karate chop spot, right here at the bottom of the hand. Here's one, okay? And that's where you start. And there's particular verbiage or things that you say when you get ready to do this. And I'm gonna go through the verbiage and go through all the spots. And so before I go and do that, I'm gonna show you a diagram with all the spots on it first, and you can see them. And then following that, I will do the actual session. So let me just show you the spots first, and here they are. So you're basically looking at all the spots here. The first one right here is on the karate chop spot. The second one, is right at the, uh, like between the eyebrows. The third is to the corner of it. The fourth below the eye. The next is below the nose, then below the chin, then at the, um, your collarbone. And then the next spot following that is the, um, under the arm. And then you finalize with the top of the head. And that ends it. And that's one full session. And so hopefully you can see that. You got an idea of the different spots you're going to. And we'll go along with it next, doing a session. And the session we're going to do it on is basically uh, lowering anxiety um, or pain, either one. And so now that you've seen spots, we're going to start with the karate chop spot. And you're going to tap right about here with your fingers. You can use a couple fingers. You can use all your fingers here. This is the first strong spot you're going to tap. And we're going to say, even though, even though I am really stressed, even though I'm feeling terrible anxiety, I still care and love myself. Even though I still have tremendous stress and pain and discomfort, I still care and love myself and care for myself. And you're going to want to do that a couple times, just like that. Um, next spot we're going to touch is right here, right above the corner of your eye. And you're going to do the same kind of verbiage. Um, but you're not going to say even though. You're just going to say the pain and the suffering, the anxiety, it's intense. The pain, the suffering, the anxiety is intense. Um, oh, sorry. Right here. The anxiety is so intense. The anxiety is so intense. And then the lip. That anxiety, that emotional tension, it's so high. It's so intense. I'd like to let it go. I'd like to let that anxiety go. The lower, the lip, under the lip. Let that anxiety go. Let the tension go. Let that all go. The collarbone, let that anxiety go. And you want to feel that tapping. You can hear it, actually. Um, it may make a sound here. And some people will use just this spot. Let that anxiety go. Let all that tension go. Let that anxiety go. Let the tension go. Let the pain go. Let all of it go. Under the arm here, let that tension go. Let the tension go. Let the tension go. Top of the head. Let it all dissipate. Let it all go. Let all that go. And so that that's one full round. And so before you go to do any of this, which I should have mentioned first, you want to measure. You want to see what your anxiety level is, your pain level, if it's a 10. You want to measure it. And you want to measure it after each session. So we just went through a whole session. You want to measure. So let's say my anxiety was a 10 and I just went through it. Now it's a 9. 
well, that's improvement. A nine is an improvement. And so that's a good thing. And so you will just keep going. You'll come back around and start the round again, even though I have terrible anxiety, stress, pain in my life, even though it's overwhelming and causing me a lot of problems, I still care and love and want to take care of myself. Even though I have terrible pain, anxiety, stress in my life, I want to let go. I want to care for myself. I want to feel better. Even though I have this terrible pain and stress that I can't get rid of and don't know what to do, I want to let it go. I want to feel better. And I want my life to come into better control. Let's just let that anxiety and tension go. Let's let it disappear. Let's let it dissipate. Let's let it go. Let's let all the tension and the anxiety go in our life. Let's let it dissipate, disappear. Let's let ourselves start to feel better. I'm, I'm starting to let all that anxiety and tension go. I'm starting to feel better. I'm starting to let it go. It's starting to dissipate. All that anxiety and tension is dissipating and disappearing. All of it is going. The pain is feeling better. The pain is getting better in my life. I'm feeling better each and every day. And every time I do this, I feel better. Each time I do this, the pain, the anxiety, the tension, they go, they get better. They improve. I feel my life getting better. All of this stress and tension and pain is releasing and letting go. All of it is letting go. I release all of it. I release all of it. All the tension, all the pain, all the anxiety, all the stress is dissipating and I'm letting all of it go. And that's two sessions I did. The second one I did it a little better. I think I may have missed some parts even. But you can watch other ones like this. There's videos like these all over the internet to help you reduce pain, suffering, tension, stress, anxiety, uh, probably eating disorders. There's probably ones on everything with EFT, emotional freedom technique or tapping. And it correlates with your meridian points. I hope this gives you a little bit of an introduction into it as to how it can help you. And you would develop your own technique or whatever it is based on what your problem is. Always measure first before you start and always measure at the end and see where it's at. And you can drop that number. I know people that have dropped numbers from tens to like a two, but you may have to do uh, five, six, seven sessions of going around, just doing round after round after round until it gets better. Um, does it improve everything? Well, that's to be seen. It's how effective you do it and, and how well it works for you. And I know some people, because they're out in public, they only use this one right here on the collarbone. They don't do any of the other meridian points. And the thing is, is if your body gets used to you doing all the meridian points going all the way through, and you just do this one to relieve the tension and the stress in the end, you may find that works for you as well, but it doesn't work for everybody. And so you may have to go through the whole session. But here's a way to do it. You can get a coach if you want to have a much more professional, powerful type EFT. There's lots of them out there. There's some very good ones. Look around and find the best one for yourself. But you can do this on your own. There's lots of videos, like I say, out there. And hopefully this is a good introduction to show you this is a method to use to relieve pain and suffering, anxiety, and other problems in your life. And with that being said, Namaste, Jai Bhagwan. May you see the light within yourself and within all others. Have a wonderful, blessed day. May you be pain and suffering free.